two days following Chief Clyde Mnisi's burial, his widow, Charlene Matthews, is murdered. She too was gunned down in cold blood. The family says the 30-year-old mother pleaded for mercy and they are shocked. We are so devastated by this incident because we were still mourning the murder of our, our chief. Now it's his wife who's leaving behind very little children. The youngest is that one. Um, and uh, what I heard is that she even appealed that please don't kill me. I will give you money because my children are very, uh, are still very young. We are so devastated. We don't know the reason why. We have got no clue of what happened. Sakile Ngona is lucky to be alive. He and another member of the family were shot and sustained injuries. They came in and then they fought with us and they shot me on the leg. Then I escaped and went to the neighbors to ask for help. Police are investigating a case of murder and two counts of attempted murder. We don't know the motive behind that for now and uh, we don't know the suspects. Uh, we are continuing with our investigation. We are not sure if these two incidents are related. However, we cannot uh, rule out the possibility that they might be related. But uh, look, we have not uh, closed the basket in terms of our investigation. We'll continue to investigate. Uh, then the results at the end of the day will tell us whether you know they are related or they are not related. Chief Munisi was expected to appear in court on rhino poaching related charges this month. Both the killers of Chief Munisi and his widow are still at large. Police have urged the community to assist them with information that may lead to the arrest of the suspects. Dumela Machoho, SABC News, Mukutu, near Hezeview.